Lots of people invented it. Do you want to hear about a few of them? Uh, maybe. Yeah, just a little bit. One of the first was an American government scientist called Vannevar Bush. He thought of it as long ago as 1945. 1945? Then there's Ted Nelson, who developed the idea of hypertext in the 1960s. From the 1970s onwards, there's been a group of people working at what is now called the Media Lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Then, in the late 1980s, came the Multimedia Lab in San Francisco. In the early 1990s, Robert Abel developed a pioneering example of multimedia based on Picasso's painting, Guernica. Can I just interrupt you a moment? Oh, absolutely. At any moment. That's the whole point. What are those things? They are called Micons. They were invented by a Norwegian called Hans Peter Bromo at MIT in 1989. Try touching him. A micron is a motion icon. Uh, it's motion because it's a sequence of frames uh, that are uh, run in a loop and it's an icon because it's a representation it's used as a representation for an idea or a concept or a piece of uh, information in some form and um, imagine for example that you are watching uh, this interview with me and uh, I make a reference to uh, Ted Nelson now Ted Nelson was the person who back in the 60s coined I thought of the idea of hypertext in the fall of 1960, but not under that name. And for years, I tried to explain the idea to people everywhere. And uh, apparently, most people thought I was literally insane. But uh, it seemed so clear to me from the very beginning that writing should not be sequential, because the problems we all have in writing sequential prose derive from the fact that we're trying to make it all lie down in, in one long string. And if we could only break it up into different chunks that the reader could choose, why then we wouldn't have to decide what goes in and what goes out. We could just... Okay, so how do I find something? Like, how do I find my way back? You just ask me. I just did. Or you can touch the go back button, which is the thing that looks like a minimalist fish hook. What do I do now? May I just make a point here? Shall I stop you? Of course. But the point I wanted to make was that you don't have to ask me what you have to do all the time. Do whatever you want. Micon. 61 today. Happy birthday. This is a fantasy documentary. The pioneering work shown in Hyperland, however, is very real.